Hello everyone, this is Vishal here and today we are going to perform addition and subtraction operations for integer and float numbers using overloading concept. So best of luck. Now, the first thing you need to edit is .ui file under the forms option which stands for user interface. So this is our canvas for developing any application in Qt and on the left side we have all the tools available for developing user interfaces for applications. The tools we are using in this application are text edit, line edit, label and push button. Follow along the video and let your imagination help you in making some innovative user interfaces.
After this, we need to set operations for reset and exit button. For that, click the second square button on the top and then just drag from the reset button to the line edits and select click and then clear. Now, for exit button, just drag it to the free space in the canvas. Now we have to set object names for all the line edits and push buttons. Follow the video and name them accordingly. So, to define the operation of push button, just right click and go to go to slot option. Here, we will store result in output, add is a function which will be described later, text here stands for input and 2 int means input should be an integer and set text is for output. Same we need to do for integer subtraction float addition and float subtraction. Now we will need to define these functions.
Now, these functions should be stated in header file, in this case, overloading.h. And don't forget to change the object name of the aligned edits and change to to float option instead of to int in float operations to take input as float. Just click the green play button to run the application and it is ready to be tested. If you have any doubt regarding the video, just leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and if you want more videos like this then click subscribe. Hope to see you again. Bye bye.